this is a moron doesn't know what a Qur'at is, right? Yeah. Let me explain it. Are there textual now, differences? Let me, let me explain it. Bro. There are textual listen. differences. Listen. Textual okay. differences. Listen. It's been corrupted. So you can't listen. This is a problem with him. You can't listen, right? Now, when you look at the Torah, are there different verses? Are there different lines? And I have a whole book on the Dead Sea Scrolls and the Standard Torah and the differences between them. So it is not just that they're different recitations. Now, his father, for example, he recites in, Sh in, in Shu'bah and Asim. And, and somebody else will recite in Hafs and Asim. Those are all in accordance to one Mus'haf, the Uthmani Mus'haf. You don't know that, right? The scheme, right? But the Torah has actual, from the Dead Sea Scrolls and the other scriptures, actual verses, chapters that have differences. And there are entire books written on that. That means there were, there were rabbis who wrote things in that are not in other scriptures of the Torah. From their hands, they added to it. And that's why there's discussions on what should... Even the Catholic Old Testament has different numbers of verses and books than the Christian one. In the Quran, find me one Muslim in the entire world that does not agree that the Quran begins with Al-Fatiha, ends with Surah Al-Nas. Find me one. Uh, one. Uh, I didn't think so. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Go ahead, think. Think, uh, think, think. Uba, Uba ibn Kaab? You heard Uba ibn Kaab, Uba Uba ibn Kaab. One who did not believe the Surah Al-Fatiha ends in Surah Al-Nas? He, he, did, he didn't have two extra stories in his Quran? No! <laughs> Ibn Masood didn't have 111 chapters in his Quran? No, Miskeen! Uba ibn Kaab didn't miskeen, say, Uba ibn Kaab, Uba ibn Kaab didn't say that there are, there are over 200 me, verses me, missing me, from Surah 33? Not at all. Let me explain no, this. Let me explain. He didn't have extra words? Let me, let, he did not. Let me he explain. He did not have extra words. Can I explain it now? Well, yeah, but I mean, okay, wait, even but, Yusuf wait, Ali's wait. commentary admits it. Yusuf Ali was an Ismaili, yeah. as I told yeah, you. Yeah, Yusuf not... Ali is just lying about what's in, okay. let me, let me what's in the Qirat get, get of Uba ibn Kaab. Listen, listen. Sir, if you want to learn, learn. This is why you didn't come here to learn, because you're not trying to learn, you're just trying to argue. Yeah, you keep saying false stuff. You get, you Quit get saying the false book, things, you get and I won't, the book, I won't have to respond. Al-Itban of a CUT, and he has an entire chapter that discusses in this difference. What he explained about Ubay ibn Ka'b mm -hmm. are those ayat that were revealed and then put in different surahs. It's mm -hmm. not that they were disappeared. Ibn Mas'ud, let me finish, bro, let me finish before you go to Yusuf Ali. And Yusuf Ali, again, was Ismaili, we don't accept his commentary. He just, even denied the Hurul Ain, so I mean, we're not going to go there, right? But now when we go to the, the Yusuf Ali, I said that in the beginning. When you first pulled that out, I told you, Yusuf, Yusuf Ali, he's Ismaili. I told you that in the beginning. I'm not I, I know you hate all these other groups. It I doesn't mean I can't get information from them. Why should, the, I trust, the, why should I trust you over them? Evidence. Okay. Now, a Suyuti, which is a standard for Atqan, he says about Ibn Mas'ud, it is not that he didn't have Qulaud al-Falaq, Qulaud al-Nas, but he took them as Atkar originally until he was reminded. And that's why when Zayd ibn Thabit, you know who Zayd ibn Thabit is? Yeah. You know who he is? About the Quran. When he compiled it, was there any Khilaf or was there Ijma? Ijma, consensus of all of the Sahaba that this is the Quran as revealed from Al-Fatiha to Nas. Zayd ibn Thabit, radiyallahu anhu, in the time of Abu Bakr and again in the time of Uthman. This didn't is he, the ignorance he leave that he doesn't know. He did not. He, he Zayd didn't. ibn Thabit left off the Quran. What is wrong with you? He didn't, he didn't find what is wrong with he, you? Zayd ibn Thabit didn't, when he, when he did the, the, the Uthmani recension, he didn't okay. find a couple verses that were missing? No. 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 Okay. Where did you get That's that from? Interesting. Uh, your, 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 yourself? He didn't find the, the, the two Uthman verses from... Ibn, listen, listen. Zayd ibn Thabit radiyallahu when he compiled the Quran in the time of Abu Bakr Radiyanu, and re-standardized the prints he sent out, they were the same. This is why the Sahaba came to an ijma. You know what the word ijma means? Consensus. Mean no Sahabi disagreed when this was sent out. Ibn Mas'ud Radiyan knew Qulad al-Falaq Nas. He led them in salah with them. There are ahadith where Ibn Mas'ud recites them in salah. But what he was explaining was he took them to be Adhkar originally until he was reminded. And that's why when Zayd ibn Thabit compiled the Quran, he didn't just do it from his own. He collected all of the Hufaz and all of the Sahaba until they came to a consensus. And that's why today I ask you, David Wood, find me one Muslim that does not believe that the Surah Al-Fatiha to Surah Al-Nas is Quran. Um, you're, you're talking about after okay. all the variants Today. and so on are burned. Again, Uthman again, had to burn Uthman them all. Uthman did not burn variants. Right? This is again your ignorance. So <laughs> let, me, let me explain. No, no. The, the reason for compiling them and burning them was because there were differences in the recitation of the Quran. No. They are, they are, if all the recitations huh? go to the Mus'haf of Uthman, then how could those differences have been gone? No, let, me, let me finish with you now. When Uthman Radian collected the Quran, people had small scripts. Mm -hmm. 
And what he wanted to do was to make sure that people don't start to take those scripts and misunderstand and, and join them in wrong places as a not in a book format. So he compiled it. So and differences told, in the recitation of the Quran. No, no. Again, the difference of the Quran continued uh -huh. on the Musaf Uthman. Even today, every Quran has, you know, the three conditions of the Quran? Um, one does. second, just let me read this so I can put it down. Okay. Um, in, so this is this commentary on the verse, uh, Surah 33, verse 6, the Prophet is closer to the believers than their own selves, and his wives are their mothers. Uh, he says, in spiritual relationships, the Prophet is uh, entailed to more respect and consideration than blood relations. Um, in some kiras, like that of Ubay ibn Kab, occur also the words, and he is a father of them, which imply his spiritual relationship and connection with the words, and his wives are their mothers. So, in his okay, kira, so, so, so he's saying, kira, no, no, wait, he hold, extra on, words. hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, this, this is your ignorance again. Bring, bring me the ayah. David Wood's going to get done another time now. Yeah, because, because, Ubay, you're ignorant. because Ubay ibn no, Kab no, screwed no, no. up. Because you didn't understand the hadith, that's the problem. Okay. There you go, right there. That's the note. That's the Excellent. verse. So the note is... For nine, some strange eight, reason... Nine, seven, four. Four. For some strange reason, Ubay ibn Kab had extra words in his. He did not have extra words. Uh, hold on, I'm, I'm showing you. I'm showing you, right? وَكَانَ اللَّهَ كَانَ اللَّهُ بِمَا يَعْلَمُ بِكِيرٌ وَالنَّبِيُّ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ وَلِي لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ مِنْ أَنْفُسِهِمْ وَأَزْوَاجِهِمْ وَأُمَّهَاتِهِمْ Here, in this recitation of Ubay ibn Ka'ab, which again, is, is a, this is one of the Shad recitations, meaning this is not established from the Mutawatir Ahadith, which you don't know anything about, but what can I do? Here, the word is pronounced differently, it's not an additional word, which changes its meaning from their own uh, wives, from their own selves and wives to rather their own fathers. But this is, this is first off, this recitation, is, and he is a father to them. Right, right, again, so like here, how he is closer to them, in the recitation, mm -hmm. the word changes the meaning of it, not that there's an additional word, right? Like the word he said, well, occur me, also the words. Let me, let me explain it to you again. And you, like, get it fine and you can read it. But the thing is, you don't really want to learn. The word walid and walida, for example, right? And first, it just the change in recitation changes the meaning. Both of them being correct. Obey ibn Ka'ab this Qur'at is not established mutawatir. Every Qur'an has to be mutawatir from a Nabi alayhi salam. But even here, it was not the additional word, but the difference in recitation that gave the depth in meaning. Now, these recitations, as Asyuti has mentioned, that are shad. That means that they are not accepted because even in recitation, we have to make sure they're mutawatir, that they are through numerous authentic chains. Those that are through authentic numerous chains, they do not have additional words because they all have to go back to one Musaf. Musaf Uthman any recitation that may be attributed to anybody that does not go back to the Musaf of Uthman is rejected. Um, sorry, they So if other one more time. if Muhammad's other companions again had different recitations. Because so, that, that's, which, that's, which that's you're not that, getting. That's, not getting, e that's right? even in Bukhari. So, Umar me, said okay. Ubay was the best of the reciters among us, but Excellent. we leave off some of what he recited. Excellent. They're leaving it off. Excellent. What does that hadith talk about? Uh, let me guess, uh, different pronunciations no, or something. No, no. So, Abay ibn Ka'ab radiallahu anhu had his style of recitation that would elongate things the Quraysh did not want to elongate. See, so this is the thing, you're ignorant this of what's going We're on. This is amazing. We're sitting right? here reading. There are yeah, passages you can read. This is Ubay ibn Ka'ab who said that over 200 verses are missing okay. just from Surah 33. Again, He's again. Got extra words. The, the problem He's got extra is, words here. The problem and everything is, will be reinterpreted he as, does, nope, it was exactly the same. It's not interpretation. He just elongated the if word. You had, if you had understood the context and we're not elongating it. That's what that's Listen, what Umar is saying. Do this. Go get the book al Khan and read it for yourself so you can look at the historic evidences. The problem is you don't really want to know the answer. We study these signs. That's why we have the answer. 
you don't study them and make ignorant attempts to oh. make videos and that's why when I correct you, you're like, oh, how come you always have the hey. answer? Because we study these Qur'an. I would like your answer on this and I'm not even objecting. Can we? Uh, and I, I told you, this I is actually, like almost I actually, I actually want this. And he told me one more thing Sahih half Muslim. an hour ago. Sahih Muslim. This is your last oh thing then. Sahih Muslim. Last thing? Sahih Muslim 2286. Okay. That's where Abu Musa, uh, it says Abu Musa went to the reciters of Basra and he said, um, be basically be careful that your your reciting the Quran for a long time doesn't harden your hearts, as were hardened the hearts of those who came before you. And then he says basically they forget they forgot two chapters of the Quran. Twenty-two eighty-six. Yeah, you're using Dar es Which one do you want me to use? Show, show me the hadith. Back. Wait, it, it's Sunnah.com gives gives. Uh, Yes. I just want to look at the wording of the hadith that you want that you're okay. saying. Um, because you misunderstood every hadith till now, so I'm assuming you misunderstood this. Well. You don't know what hadith I'm talking about? No. Nope. I'm not in any show. All this way from New York just to get destroyed again. The scheme. Bring it. Um, oh, can't find it. Uh, no, you were throwing the number this has out. A different, like this has a different it, right? numbering system. Yeah. Then, which one were you looking at? Um, um, what are you laughing? You're, 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 you're I'm, using. I'm just, I'm just giggling because my okay, time to go, 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 go an hour ago. Okay, here we go. Here we go. There we go. All right, there we go. So what is the hadith number here? I like one. one five, you see the two two eight six. Okay. That's no yeah, okay. So uh, you are the best amongst the inhabitants of Basra, for you are the reciters amongst them who can continue to recite, continue to recite. Uh -huh. That your reciting for a long time may, have, may not harden your hearts, mm -hmm. so they were hardened, as were the heart hardened of the hearts of those before you. Mm -hmm. We used to recite a surah which resembled in length and severity, severity. surah in severity, surah al barra which is Tawbah. I hate, I have, however, forgotten it, with the exception of which I remember out of it. If there are, if there were two valleys full of riches of the son of Adam, he would, he would long for a third valley, and nothing would fill their stomachs of the son of Adam except that. And we used to recite a surah which resembled one of the surahs of Mushabbiyat, and I. And I have forgotten it, but remember this much of it. What's your point? This is Abu Musa. Abu Musa al Asha. He goes to the reciters. He goes to the reciters of Basra. Okay. Right? And he says, hey, just be careful that okay. you reciting the Quran for a long time doesn't harden your heart. Like you get bored with it or something, you get sick of it or something, right? No, 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 no. He you, says, you, you didn't understand that this, this is the thing for ignorance, right? Reading words off a page. No, no, and not understanding them apparently. Okay. Okay. So okay, your you reciting that. for a long time, long time. may not harden your, heart, harden your heart as were hardens of those before, before you. you. So he's telling them continue to recite, obviously, so that your reciting does not harden your heart. Right. And he says so as were hard. He, no, he yeah, says yeah. as were hardened the hearts of those before you. So right? by not reciting. The earlier, the earlier generation. Exactly. Right? By not reciting. So, right? right. Hold on. And hold then on. he so quotes. Let me, let me and then he said. And then he says. Right. There was a chapter of the Quran in length, no, in length and severity, like okay. Surah At-Tawbah. So there's sure. a chapter as long as and okay. hard as Surah At-Tawbah. Okay. Right? But I have forgotten it. Sure. Right? But he gives a verse out of it. If there were two valleys for the son of the two valleys of riches for the son of Adam, they would want a third. And so he's telling the let me, let me explain it to you. This is Abu Musa saying they forgot two chapters. This is your ignorance again, right? What, if, if what chapter had, is that? If you have, let me explain it to you what chapter is. That, that is not a chapter at all. That's actually a hadith. That's right? a hadith. That's a hadith. So that, let me explain this to you. So he didn't know. You, you waiting? You ready? You, you okay? Take a breath. Take a breath, bro. This, this is your last one, but I'm going to kill it with okay. this one. So, when we look at the Sahaba radiyanhum, who were the memorizers of the Quran, those that came together with Zayd ibn Thabit, Abu Musa al-Ashari is not one of them. Did you know that? Oh, oh, they've caught again. Oh, then, now, then, then, me, then the chapter me, should me, still be there. Let me, let me explain. As if you had studied Ilm al which mm -hmm. you didn't, then you would have known that some of the Sahaba to the later type of their age, they had issues with memory, right? And that is why Uthman ibn Affan, may Allah reward him, what he had done before this time, 
before Abu Musa al-Ashari went to Basra, before he became old, that Uthman Radiyan, who took the Qurra, the Zayd ibn Thabit ibn Mashud ibn Bikab, from Uthman Radiyan himself, and he standardized the Qur'an. So if somebody, as a person, starts to forget or mix up things, it would not affect the Qur'an. We know that Abu Musa al-Ashir, who towards the later time of his life, had issues with remembering things and confusing things. But that would never affect the Qur'an, because the Qur'an was standardized and preserved by Uthman Radiyan in book format and by Ijma of the Sahaba in the early time, before the time when Uthman Radiyan died, Ali Radiyan down, and Abu Musa al went to Basra. So, a person himself, like for example, if I memorize the Qur'an, mm -hmm. and when I get old, I come to this young man, I say, keep reciting the Qur'an so that your hearts don't become hardened because I have forgotten many of the ayat of Qur'an and I recite them incorrectly, it will not affect the preserved, compiled Qur'an by ijma of the Sahaba, radhi Allah. He gives a verse, he gives a verse out of it though. He does not, this is a hadith, that's the whole point. Imam al nabawi in his Sharh of Sahih Muslim, uh -huh. he explained that this is actually a hadith, and Abu Musa al-Ashari, because of his old age, was confused, but the Qur'an, alhamdulillah, was preserved before that time by the consensus of the Sahaba. There are Sahaba who memorized the Qur'an and forgot parts of it. Like today, there are those who memorize the Qur'an. But it never affected the preservation of the Qur'an because the Qur'a, and he is not from them, the Qur'a were the precise memorizers who wrote down the entire Qur'an during the lifetime of the Prophet wasallam. And that's why Zayd ibn Thabit, when he collected it, he told them to bring from the writing and memory. And only accepting two witnesses per ayah, compiled the Qur'an, standardized, sent out by ijma' sahaba. So in anybody's personal memory would never affect the Qur'an after that. Walhamdulillah. It's six o'clock, I'm out. Amen. You're going to want to keep going because you, you know you got destroyed repeatedly. Oh, but I, got a I find it interesting. Very interesting because uh, I've seen that interpretation that you quoted. It's a hadith, and I've seen like nine different explanations talk to, to explain camera, that away. You know you can't talk to us. I'm talking to you. Yeah, it's six o'clock. I'm talking to you. I've noticed. It doesn't seem there's a consensus on what that means. And by the way, I've no, there's no consensus, right? The consensus on the Quran's preservation has been documented in Al Isqan. Go look at it. Uh, yeah, the consensus. Uh, I'm right here. The consensus on the Quran's preservation now, even though you do have the different kirat and so on, but you go back, different numbers of chapters. Um, you have passages talking about entire chapters coming up missing. You have, according to Aisha, over a hundred verses of Surah 33 coming up missing. According to Ubay ibn Kaab, more than 200 verses missing from Surah 33. Uh, Ibn Umar, Ibn Umar warned people. Ibn Umar warned people. He said, let none of you say, I've memorized the entire Quran. For how does he know what the whole of it is when so much has disappeared? And the response to all of that is, there's a consensus. There's a consensus. We know there's a consensus now, but it doesn't line up with reality.